Hello, oh, as I was saying, it's phone calls and emails. Um, aside from uh, the, so four that you might not have heard of before outside of the co-write, I have a Gino Seal stand back there. Yeah. And the two covers, um, those four I wrote um, in like three days, um, me and Sonora moved in this cabin and uh, before we moved in we gave it like the deep cleanse, you know, and uh, if we move stuff in that's the best time to clean it totally. And uh, I was doing that, I was uh, listening to a lot of Elvis um, and I started thinking about songs that I would write uh, if I was trying to pitch songs to Elvis and naturally a lot of the songs ended up being about like draft powered animals. I was doing a lot of that over COVID. Um, I had like it was the first time I'd ever done it, so I, I felt like it was a good bit. I had like a half acre corn that I plowed up with these two mules that I got, and was mowing hay and dragging logs and stuff like that. And then we kind of live out in the middle of nowhere, and I don't know there for a long time. I didn't go anywhere. I think a lot of us didn't go anywhere if we get away with it. And uh, so like I wouldn't be in service. Um, and Sonora neither all that terribly much and then when you would get out in the service all of a sudden there'd just be like all of these texts you know and there'd be those people that like you know back in the day like you might write a letter and you might not hear from somebody for a year and it'd be, it'd be, it's okay <laughs> and, like nowadays it's like why aren't you getting back with me like, are you mad at me like oh child dude <laughs> so that's where that came from Sometimes you'd write letters and not even send them. I do that with texts a lot. So I'll be talking to somebody and somebody will text me and I'll like write the text out in my mind and then I'll just never write it. Anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. So this one right here is called uh, uh, Percher Mules. Um, I've got two mules that uh, more than likely, they're, they're, they're big, but they're more likely out of like some sort of like Tennessee Walker and a Mammoth Jack or something, but I really want like some big mules, you know, to like pull big things. <laughs> My mules are fine, but you know, and uh, I, I I worked with these uh, the fir the first two. So there was this fiddler um, out of Virginia that uh, I've been Facebook friends with for a real long time, and uh, my grandpa grew up in Lawrence County, Kentucky, on like tent farm. And uh, you know, I had mules and horses. He had he had a horse up until he passed, um, but by that point he'd like not done plowing with them or anything. He just rode them. But all the stories about him, you know, growing up, like he told me, like you know, I've got the actually the plow on the back of the album is my great great grandfather's plow. And, like my grandpa would tell me stories about like being eight nine years old, and the dad be like, get out there and plow that, you know. <laughs> and, but I always wanted to get some mules and, and do that. I thought my papa would get a real kick out of that. And uh, um, so when COVID hit, I was like, I think I got time to do that. And uh, I reached out to this friend that I was talking about a second ago before I started meandering on other things. Uh, and I was like, hey man, can I come over to your farm? He lives in Virginia. And uh, can I uh, work some horses with you? And he was like, yeah, for sure. And then like COVID kept on like getting weirder and weirder. And like, I couldn't think of it. I was like, I'm not going to Virginia. I'm like, I'm not going down the road at all. And then he, he ended up getting me hooked up with uh, Rick Thomas over, he's a he's a teamster that teaches over at Wendell Berry's farming program, um, like south of Louisville. And I was like, I, I could probably make it over there. And so I went and worked with him. And like, I had in my mind, I really wanted some, uh, some Belgian uh, horses and he had these two mules, um, these Belgian mules, and I'm like, man, I really, really like these. And um, anyhow, I started like daydreaming about getting some Bertrands and uh, like getting a man with Jack and crossing them and then having my own team. And so you start daydreaming, then you start writing, and that's the song. <laughs> Sixteen hands. I don't 
tanks Yeah, team size of tanks And a hundred head of gold When I get the pig pen built I'll find a couple of shows Sixteen hands. I don't want to grab. 